Welcome to Nick News. So today we're talking about entertainment news from the increasingly falling apart show Riverdale. If you don't know what Riverdale is, it started off with this dope show. Now it's just like downhill. It's terrible. My in my opinion, I lost interest at about season three or four where they started doing that whole um they started doing that whole game rpg game whatever it was called dungeons and dragons thing so yeah other than that it's been terrible and the newest news out of this show is just so cringe worthy so the girl lily i think she plays betty is saying that yeah i've been in canada and filming i feel like i'm in prison because i don't get to see my family anymore i don't get to go there for thanksgiving or christmas and so work that one off for a second just you cannot say being an actress you cannot say that being trapped in canada is the equivalent of being in prison no matter how much you miss your family i get it i'd miss my family terribly if i was like stuck in another country but that's not prison you're not in prison. You're in Canada. Which actually sounds... Out of everywhere you could be stuck in in the world... Actually sounds better. In Canada. Pot. Unless your contract forbids it. Bacon. Hockey? Yeah, if anybody likes hockey. But you can't say being in Canada... That you're in prison. It, it just... It's no. It's not the same. You know how many people in prison would probably kill to, like, go to Canada? And not even that, just just not to be in prison. Like, oh, yeah, make however much that Hollywood girl makes in filming in Riverdale and not be in his cage eating, like, three square, three square terrible meals a day or whatever. And, you know, not getting ass raped up the ass. You could be... I'm sure anybody would trade her for that job. Yeah. Okay. You know? It's... You can't say that, in my opinion. You can't... It, you can't compare the two. Yeah, it sucks being away from your family. I, I get it. It sucks. I get how it can feel like prison. I get how, I guess, it can feel like prison. Even, But you're an actress. you got access to your phone, laptop... All kinds of stuff you and I don't, like, have access to. You know, like, thinking about it, a few weeks ago, we're doing, months ago, sorry, when they were doing the Orlando bubble thing, these outfits are, like, on board, they were in their room stuck for, I don't know, 24 hours or more than that, quarantining, like, they're bored. But you have your phone, social media, you can be chatting, you can be buying all the porn you could ever want to buy. It's, it, it. I guess you don't want to run up your credit card. But it sounds cool. You're a rich celebrity. You have access to... You can do whatever you want. Like from your phone. Or your laptop. Uh, I guess like, the boredom. I get. I guess. But like you... It just is insulting to me. To people who are actually in prison. People who actually have to deal with the terrible conditions in prison that this celebrity this privileged celebrity is complaining that she feels like she's in prison when she's in canada she it, it's just it's not the same to me and maybe i'll take some heat for this you know for saying this the danny masterson when i did i took a lot of crap because I was defending Danny Masterson when I still don't think he did it. But this girl, I'm I'm saying something because this is just pure entitledness here. Pure just I, I I don't you know, I don't understand. Tell me what you guys think of this. Your opinions. Like and subscribe and thanks for watching.